Welcome back, everybody. My first guest starred in the hit TV show Key and Peele and directed the smash hit movie Get Out. How do you feel now? I can't move. You're paralyzed. Now, sink into the floor. Wait, 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 wait. Sink. Please welcome Jordan Peele. Again. Did you tell them to stand? No, I did, we didn't say anything. That's not a thing. That's, That's not, not a, a thing. They yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You just got a standing ovation, brother. Yeah. Well, ni ni nice to see you again. Haven't seen you since we uh, shot a little piece for the Super Bowl show almost we two did. years ago. We did. That a was fun. Hingle McCringleberry action. Hingle McCringleberry action. And mm -hmm. while we were shooting that, you were telling me about this movie you were working on. Right. And I said, oh, well, what is it about? And he said, it's kind of crazy to explain. <laughs> it's hard to explain. And he said, well, it's called Get Out, and it's about, well, and then you told me what the movie's about, and I'm like, well, I'll go see that movie. <laughs> yeah. And it turned out I was not alone, because in February, you made your debut with Get Out. The LA Times called it a cultural phenomenon. Uh, it's on a ton of Oscar lists. Highest grossing debut film based on original screenplay ever. Congratulations. <laughs> Inflation. Dude, inflation. No, no, highest ever. Did you get, get your beak wet on that one? Did you get, I get my, on that one? I did some Lord cocaine on set. Oh, that you, That's exactly what no, I meant. No, no, I didn't. That's get exactly my, what I meant. I did meant. not get my beak wet. You did not. You did not get your beak wet on this no, one. No, I don't. Oh, yeah. Let me rep you next time. Okay. Let me rep you next time. Fair enough. It's got a 99% on Rotten Tomatoes. Yes. Which is nearly unheard of. But I gotta ask, who is the? What's the one percent? Who went like, no, I'm out. Um, racism. Is racism nope. gets to review things now? Ra racism actually has a whole as a as a column, and wow. and uh, reviews things and uh, is responsible for that one percent. Oh wow! Um, but yeah, look, I'm I'm just I'm happy to get that humble ninety nine. Yeah, I'm, uh, you'll get them next time, man. I'll get them next time. Yeah. I'm hoping for that uh, one donut donut next time. The, the, what's the one donut donut? <laughs> what's the one donut? One donut donut. The one donut donut. That's a hundred. That's the... Oh, one donut donut. Yes. I apologize. I didn't know. It's a... I it's, don't know. It's a black thing. It's a... It's, that's it's, no, it's, that's, that's not, urban... That's not a black thing, Yeah, is it, it is. It's a black thing? Yeah. That's why I didn't know. Well, that's because you... No. Spoiler alert, not black. If you ever hang out... <laughs> I know you, I seem super woke and everything, and sometimes... No, you seem pretty woke. I can imagine you mistaking me for black, but... I, uh, I, I actually... I'm not. I thought you were in white face when I came out here. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't play no, like no. that. No, uh <laughs> Good, good. Because that's that's not that would be bad. that's not today. That would be bad. That's not in 2017. Now I understand that you've this you've submitted this for the to the Golden Globes as a comedy. I I submitted it as a documentary. <laughs> I didn't know, you know, I it was it was uh, submitted and I It was submitted? It was submitted. It was it, Don't it use is, the passive tense. You're a better writer than that. I it was it had been submitted. I don't know what happened. It will have been submitted. I thought here's the thing. Yes. This, the movie You had nothing to do with the movie is what I understand at the this point. The movie is is truth. The thing that resonated to people is truth. So I think it's more for me it's more of a like a historical biopic. Okay. Like, it was, it, the original title was Get Out, the Kanye West story. But <laughs> I had to lop off the end. Is that, is the title a reference to the Richard Pryor joke? A, 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 yeah, a little bit. You know, a little bit. Know the, can you mind telling people well, the Well, you know, I don't know if it's Pryor or Eddie Murphy. I get their bits confused a lot. Oh, I thought it was Pryor. It's, it's, it's okay. But I think the one you're talking about is, like, reference to the Amityville horror. Oh, yeah, I thought that was Pryor. And it's, it's like, this idea of, like, a, a, a movie, if, if a black person was the, the protagonist of a horror movie, it would be a very short movie. Mm-hmm. And I'm just, at this point, I'm just going to get a prior laugh. So that's, uh, that's weird. But yeah. yeah, the bit was, you know, the black, black family comes into a haunted house. I think it's Eddie Murphy. Yeah. Comes into the haunted house. And now, oh, this, these drapes are great. And they get out. Too bad we can't stay, baby. 
It's not my bit. It's not my bit. Uh huh. But yeah, uh, it was. Yeah. It was like what happens when you uh, let a, a black person be the protagonist in a horror movie, and uh, it turns out you you have a movie that um, has a, uh, a a protagonist that is uh, aware that um, horror is going down. <laughs> There's no walking backwards. <laughs> into a dark room into this movie. Now, it's, it's, I mean, it is a funny movie, but it's also a scary movie. Did you, do you, do uh, white audiences and black audiences get frightened by this movie in the same way? Do they experience the horror in the same way? It, uh, no. Okay. I don't think so. I think that's, about, yeah. I mean, I think black people, you know, it's like the second the, the, the movie comes up and like the, the protagonist is dating a white girl, they go, oh, he's in trouble. <laughs> I don't like where this is going. <laughs> He's in an interracial relationship. Uh -huh. Get out, brother. Uh huh. Um, uh huh. Well, the white audiences go, that's very progressive. <laughs> yeah. That's very progressive. That's cool. Oh, good. That was good. It's uh, not until later in the movie that white people get freaked out because they're like, oh my God, I think I've said that. <laughs> I think I said that thing that the villains are saying in this movie. And so it's a very different thing. And, and it is, uh, you know, the whole, it, it doesn't fit into a genre. You know, it sort of subverts the idea of genre. Mm -hmm. But it is a kind of movie that, like, black people can laugh at, but white people, not so much. A little bit. A little bit. You laughed a little bit. No, not as much as probably you did. No, no. People are writing papers around this movie. Like kids in college are writing papers. People about this. are. There are college courses. No. Um, a whole course? Uh, th yes, there is a, a black horror course. Uh, there's one at UCLA. Oh, okay. Uh huh. What do you mean? Okay, like that's. Well, you not... said. Well, you said there are whole courses. I went on this movie, and you went yeah. there's black horror courses. I'm like, oh, okay. No, but that's. This is like the one. This is There's it. no other black horror? Basically, no. I mean, there's like people under the stairs, there's Candyman, there's Night of the Living Dead, there's a couple. Okay, there's a couple. Wait, Night of the Living Dead, there's only one black guy in Latin, Night of the Living Dead. Yeah, it's but... It's not black horror. Yeah, no, he's the man. He's the... He's the reasonable character in it. He's the yeah. reasonable character in he's it. He's the guy, in Night of the Living Dead, he is the guy who is ready to fight zombies because he's been right. fighting white people off his whole life. No, no, no. Okay, okay. Okay. So I understand you went to one of these classes. I, yes. So I. I um, did they know you were there? They did. So I went in with a hood. Like they were playing the movie. This <laughs> is UCLA. They were playing the, a, a clip from the movie, and I, I kind of snuck in, and I was in the hood. And then at some point, um, the, you know, the, the teacher, Mrs. Dew, said, um, you know, what do you think the director was thinking? When, uh, and I just raised my hand, and I was like, I have an opinion on that matter. <laughs> and they, get, they turn, and it was like, it was the, like the best welcoming I ever had. They went crazy. Wow. I got, in, I got in front of them. I was like, you know, teaching lecture, and they, they started saying things, you know, raising their hand, being like, hey, you know, I want to, let's talk about the, the system that allowed this type of oppression. You know, was that what you meant? Like some really smart things. That's I, exciting. You know, I had to just be like, yeah, that's... <laughs> That's what I meant when I did that. Was this the movie that you intended from the beginning, or did it sort of like the it change in 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 the creation? No, it, it was the movie. This is the mo this is the movie I wanted to make. I wanted to make a movie that was for the a very loyal uh, black horror fan base. That we we go to see uh, horror movies and we, you know, we don't get repre represented. And this is the movie I felt like. Um, Black people were waiting for, and I'm I'm uh, I'm thrilled that everybody enjoys it. But to be honest, it was it was it was my, it was my favorite movie that I had never seen. Well, uh, <laughs> congratulations, the whole year. So nice to see. Thank you, you Stephen. Get Out is available now on DVD. George Peele.